Good morning. I'm going to do a quick little easy video for you guys this morning. Something that you can just whip up at home. And um, I have just grabbed, I've got this little table. Let me take these things off. Hold on. I've got this little table, it's like a coffee table with these like planks on top. I've had it for years and uh, it just sits in the garage sort of doing nothing. And I thought, I am gonna show you how to make it cute very, very easily with this, okay? So I'm just gonna make this quick little video. It's a really cheap, easy way to make something gorgeous, okay? So, the reason I'm choosing this one, I should say, is because when I lift the table up later, I'll show you properly later, you'll see that it's uh, it's like this retro table with the cigar legs, the long cigar legs on it, okay? Um, don't mind my, don't mind my filthy garage here. Anyway, all I've got, see that sock? I use that sock to clean the top. And uh, all right, I've got my anti slow medium. But you can use uh, PVA or a, really, a good wood glue, okay? That's all you need. You don't necessarily need to use this. I've just got a tiny little sanding block. I just grabbed what I've got at home. I didn't even, I looked around and I didn't even really have a proper uh, sandpaper here, if you can believe it. So I found this though. And so I'm just gonna give it a tiny, tiny little sand just to make it a little bit even. There is a finish on it, but it's been sitting out in the elements for, oh, I can't even tell you. It's been in the garage for years, probably. Sort of sitting around doing nothing very much at all, which is a shame because it's actually a very, it's actually a very cute table. So I'm just gonna wipe that down like that. And then, so, Given, I'm going to tip it properly. This is what it looks like, okay? So you can see it's very uneven, and uh, I think, like, it's not a flat tabletop, but I think that's actually going to work in my favour with this image, and I'm going to apply it. Uh, obviously, there's no point doing the iron on method because it's not flat, it's not flush, or there's all these little grooves and divots and what have you. Uh, I'm still a bit out of breath because I was running around tying my garage a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so all I'm going to do is, actually I should get this out tonight. So this is the A1. This is going to be slightly bigger than this uh, tabletop, but um, so this is how they come as you know. So like this. Gives you the dimensions and stuff on the front. This is the A1. That's the instructions on the back. I don't think I need to follow any instructions. And then we'll pull it out, unfold. You'll see that it's wrapped in tissue here. Get rid of that for the moment. And this is the image. So this is the retro woman in black and white. She's a bit nice, I reckon. And I'm gonna pop her on top here. Now she, look, she's almost actually perfect fit. She's gonna go over the sides a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna sand those off. So I'm gonna try and flatten her out just a tad on top first. This is not an all day event. Oh, it's gonna look really cute on this table, I reckon. All right, so there she is. It's gonna look cool. It's not an all day event. Usually, I would probably choose to start sort of at the top and go down, but because these, uh, these, these bits of wood, because they travel lengthways, I think that's how I'm gonna apply her so that I can get it into all the little divots, etc. there. So I'm just gonna fold it like so my medium and just got a brush 
I hope you can see, but I'm just applying from the edge outwards. A nice liberal amount without going absolutely crazy, okay? Here. Now clearly, I was not prepared to do this video, otherwise I would have had a big thing, so you could see on top. But I might, if I hold this, you can see, can you see how much I've used at the top there? Hopefully. This is going to be a bit hard actually, isn't it? I might, uh, I might employ Leonardo to come out and hold the thing up. One second. Okay, I've got Leonardo to hold it and uh, that's better. Now you can see the tabletop. So you can see how much I've put on here and I might just put on a tiny bit more there with those edges. You remember this table, Leonardo? No. No, it's been sitting out here for so long. And then I'm going to place it down where I want it. Here. Oh. And I'm reposition it a little bit. There we go. Oh, I like how that's going in those little grooves. Can you see that? All right, so we're just going to rub it down. That is sitting in very nicely. Okay, so you know I've got my glad wrap in my hand so that I don't tear the paper. But you don't have to be crazy gentle with it. Now I'm just going to hold it back and I'm going to do the next bit. Like so. Would be nice if I was at a table. might aim for the middle and then just do the last half. We don't need to muck around too much. Did you see that? That's fine. There we go. Okay. Next bit. And push it. I'm just rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. I'm just going to rub in. And then I'm just going to repeat. And I'm going to pump it over the whole thing, I think. to show you I know I showed you how to do this on the boards but I'm quite keen to show you the finish that's sort of the main purpose of this video to show you how I like to finish them uh, so after I've done this bit I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come back so
Can you see how it's going in all those cracks and crevices? Leonardo on the thing? Yeah. It's a really big crevice here. And then we're going to let that. We're going to let that dry, and then I'll be back for the next bit. That's it. See you later. Okay, next bit. It's dried on top. Uh, I gave it a little bit of help, I must say, with the. Uh, you know what? The hairdryer gave it a little bit of a help. I'm going to spin you around because I'm just going to uh, sand the sides. I'm going to show you how to sand the sides and how easy that is to do. So, uh, one little second. All right, there it is. You can see how it's a little bit longer. You can now see the table properly, actually. It's still a bit dirty. <laughs> and uh, I'm still undecided what I'm going to do with those sides. I've left them green at the moment and then we'll see. But I am actually really loving how this has gone on because like I said, these were just sort of raw, really rough, rustic sort of planks of wood. And um, we've got all that texture there, which I think is excellent. Can you see all of that? But it's just sitting in all of that really, really beautifully. So all you need to do Get yourself a little sanding block, piece of sandpaper, and just start sanding away from the image. Uh, I wish I had, I probably need a better grip than this actually. This is the only one I've got here. Mm, this is not ideal as it's turning out. But I thought I've taken away, but look, to be honest, this is probably like a 180. Actually, it's probably almost even a 210. You probably need like a 120, I reckon. Um, that is not perfect doing it like that. But you get the general gist of it even though I've made it look much much harder than it is okay she's on there and uh, I happened to find this which is an 80 grit I forgot about these I was hiding in my wardrobe of all places when I was doing the ensuite I think so I've just got that uh, around this little block and we're just going to sand the sides to trim them up really simple to do just make sure that you're doing it away from the image so that you don't risk uh, pulling the image up and that's all you're going to do can you see from the top hold on a second See from the top, you get a beautiful, beautiful flush finish on that. So I will just keep going along and doing that. And then I'll be back for the next bit. Okay, so I've got all of the edges sanded here. You can see that all along there. And you can see how she's looking in that light on that uh, on the wood planks there. That's just, you know, that's looking cool already, isn't it? Anyway, so they're all completely flush. Like, so she looks gorgeous and perfect. And now I'm going to get the finish. And we will put a finish on her. Okie dokie, so we're back. I have got my lacquer here. So because it's a tabletop, I mean, look, it doesn't really matter. You could still use the image medium or the wood glue. Uh, I do tend to prefer the lacquer 
well, when I'm doing the decoupage. I have watered this down just a tiny bit. And I've got a flat brush. I'm just putting it on like so. This is not the best brush to be honest because I let it get quite stiff at the ends. But anyway, I'm just going to apply. You don't need to muck around too much. Just pop it on nice and quickly. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Like so. I'll move around to the other edge of the table. Sorry, the boys are distracted now, so I can't get anybody to help me with the video. Just gonna run that all the way like that. Pick it up. All right, so you're just gonna put that on your whole table, the whole image. What you are gonna see, because this is water-based, you may see that your image uh, not starts coming up. What am I talking about? I'm trying to concentrate on the camera and this. It's not gonna come up. What you might notice, there we go, uh, is that it starts wrinkling up a little bit more. That's completely normal. And as it dries, that will dissipate. Again, I'm gonna bring you back when this is dry. There we go. Alrighty, so the first coat is dry and I reckon she's looking very, very schmick. I reckon I am going to paint it. That's my feeling. Um, anyway, I'm showing you because, so what I'm going to do, I'll just move this way. That's a pretty cool tabletop. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another two coats on top of that. And I'll come back at the end of that. And I will see you soon. Oh, I'm back. Okay. I have put on the three coats of finish. It is a very, very, very quick simple job the lacquer I mean most of those glues they dry really really quickly and uh, I've just taken the hairdryer honestly and it takes oh my god like 30 seconds or a minute maybe and they're dry I did decide to quickly paint the outside so I've done one coat of um, athenium black <laughs> okay so there's one coat of athenium black on the outside I don't have anything else here so like I said this is a bit of spare at the moment I'll have to the finished product I'll have to do at work but I'm going to show you so far because this is this is the, really the point of the video was to show you that I think all up this video or all the videos probably go for maybe 20 minutes maybe not even quite um, and I've maybe done a couple of minutes, two or three or something minutes outside of that. That's how long this takes to do, to transform a piece. And it's that quick and easy. So I'm gonna spin you around, I'm gonna show you, and hold on one second. Oh, I can't spin you around, hold on one second. All right, here we are. This is gonna be the end uh, of the video today. But I just thought that I would show you. So she's had her three coats, as you know. That's a tabletop. That's a pretty cool tabletop, I think. Um, you can see, as I showed you in the first video, that the uh, the timber panels were they're really rusticy. Lots of divots. It's, they're like palings. They're more like you know palings from a um, a fence or something. So you can see here. The whole thing, it becomes almost like it's just part of the
the piece, you know. And I thought this image would work particularly well because it's got this kind of colouring in it, which means you can see the grain and you can see those parts of the timber coming down. Um, but it is just like, it is just part of, it's you know, the tabletop. And there she is. She looks pretty cool, I reckon. All I need to do now, I will definitely need to do another coat of the black and then put a finish on the black. I'll decide what I'm going to do with the legs. If anything, I don't know how much I want to muck around. Um, but I'll show you a finished photo when she's done. And this is the video. I hope that you've seen just how simple and quick and easy it is to transform something and to use these things. I just did the three finishes as I did the first one. Uh, that is it. It is so, 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 so simple. They're so simple to use. That is a rocking table. And that's it. I will see you, see you later. Okay, bye-bye.